A mass shooting inside of a Broad Ripple bar leaves one dead and five people hurt. And for the first time, we are hearing from the family of the man who was shot and killed. The shooting happened early Saturday morning inside of Land Sharks. Court documents revealed the victim's name as Timothy Brown Jr. Medics took five others to the hospital after the incident. Police arrested a 25 year old man hours later, but tonight Brown's family remembers him as a father and a good man. He was just such a good guy. He just cared about, you know, everything else, everybody else and then himself. So, I mean, he just was a He's just a hardworking guy, you know. Beautiful heart, man. He just big heart. Yeah, it's my baby. It's my baby. He never left. When, when he entered the room, you know, he he each one of us we we'd all get a kiss. When he left, we'd all get a kiss, you know. So we're gonna definitely missing those kisses. Well, now the focus turns to the investigation and the man that police say is responsible. WRTV's Adam Schum shows how Broad Ripple plans to move forward after its second mass shooting in the last year. This is Timothy Brown Jr. He would outwork you on the mat and he would hug you at the end of it. Those who knew him describe him as a friend to all, a wrestler and a father. He wanted to make an impact on uh, youth and uh, make sure that uh, people had like a positive uh, force in their life when they're growing up. Police say he was shot and killed Saturday morning in a mass shooting at Land Sharks in Broad Ripple, where five others were also injured. Nearly 90 officers responded to the scene. Probably one of the hardest punches I've taken um, and I've had my fair share. According to court documents, an argument inside the club started moments before the shooting. Police say a man grabbed his gun and started shooting before he ran out the front door. He's arrested hours later. Police say with the help of public safety cameras and license plate readers. We've invested heavily alongside the Broad Ripple Village Association and responsible business owners in that community. This weekend's shooting marks the second mass shooting in Broad Ripple in less than a year. Last June, police say three people were killed and another was injured in a shooting near a bar. The Broad Ripple Village Association says businesses have worked together to make it safe for everyone here and hope this will encourage them to keep doing so. The majority of our bars in there, they're doing the right thing. Um, they are, they're not using some of these promoters that um, host parties that tend to draw a more violent crowd. It's all an effort to make sure that violent crime doesn't happen again. It's senseless and it's cowardice. Um, I don't understand it. Um, it needs to change. In Indianapolis, Adam Schumes, WRTV. Court records say the suspect is due in court tomorrow. We have reached out to Landsharks for comment on this weekend's incident, but we have not yet heard back.